Hello everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, in this video, we're going to look at topic two, lesson five, example three, solving a quadratic equation by completing the square. All right, and I showed you a little bit of this in the last example, so we're going to dive a little bit deeper into it. All right, so how can you solve... Oh, I think I already moved it over. Yeah, how can you solve 0 equals x squared minus 2x plus 3 by completing the square? Hide this here right here. Let's do this. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite it out. And I'm going to write it like this, which is perfectly okay. We just switched the sides, and I would have switched negatives and everything. All right. Step one, subtract three. Step two, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna do b divided by two squared. So in our case, that's negative two divided by two squared or negative one squared, which is going to give us one. So I'm gonna add one to both sides. A negative three. Make sure your negatives follow you because my negative didn't. All right, so now I'm looking at a perfect square here. I'm looking at x minus one squared because again, if you remember back to the last example, after you found your b squared, then to put it in the perfect square format, it's going to be x plus b divided by two. In our case, this is x plus negative two divided by two squared, and that's gonna be x minus one squared. On the right-hand side, we have negative three plus one, so that's gonna be negative two. Now I want to solve. When I say solve, that means I want to find what values of x makes this true. So I'm gonna take the square root. Here I have x minus 1 equals the positive and negative square root of negative 2. And if you remember, negative 2 consists of negative 1, the square root of negative 1, and the square root of negative 2. And the square root of negative 1 is our imaginary, so we're going to pull that out. Now we have x minus 1 equals plus or minus the imaginary times the square root of 2. And I can't simplify square root of 2 anymore. It's an irrational number. So I'm going to leave it for the square root of 2 so I could be precise as opposed to an estimate. Then I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And I get x equals 1 plus or minus the imaginary of the square root of 2. This does have two solutions. This has x equals 1 plus i square root of 2, and the second solution is 1 minus i square root of 2. But there you have it. There is example 2. All right, the book gives you step by steps. This is exactly what we did. Um, so feel free if you have any questions to contact me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.